Wollstonecraft is known in particular for her work, A Vindication of the Rights of Woman, which addresses the effect of education on the association of ideas. The association of ideas is concerned with the lightning-fast process that occurs in your mind, connecting characteristics and ideas with a particular concept. For instance, if I said spider, you would probably think of an eight-legged arachnid that hangs out in webs to catch unsuspecting prey and in its free time scare Miss Muffet or hide in your grapes. What Wollstonecraft emphasizes is that since these associations happen in your mind in split seconds, we have no power over them. Therefore, the basis of your train of thought is determined by how you are trained to think, i.e. your education. Wollstonecraft further believed that since you are trained to associate certain ideas with each other through both education and first impressions, over time, through repetition, this particular way of thinking about a concept becomes a habit. So if your education consists of story after story about spiders scaring little girls and hiding in grapes biting people, over the time the word spider will have a negative connotation out of habit and give rise to misleading trends in society. Wollstonecraft points out that women have been criticized for merely repeating what they are taught and that the method of education is never blamed, even though this is what denies women their ability to use their own reasoning in the first place. According to Wollstonecraft, a woman is taught to associate beauty and delicacy with the ability to attract a husband, therefore getting a perception of attaining pleasure and power over men. However, Wollstonecraft believes that a woman should be content with a husband that over time becomes a friend, not merely just a lover. So women who are overwhelmed by passion are the women who are swayed by the overly sentimental and stupid novelists. Wollstonecraft hates these novelists because they draw women's attention away from the public sphere of reason and politics and encloses them in a private sphere of trifles and sentimentality. This enclosure ensures that these women gain neither common sense, seeing common occurrences between detached ideas, nor intellect, the power of gaining general or abstract ideas. But Wollstonecraft doesn't blame these novelists too much because she points out that if women's minds weren't neglected in the first place, there wouldn't be the chance for these silly novels to crop up to villain the void. 